on February 18 of 2021, Cosmos is going to complete the original white paper with a major upgrade called Stargate. And Stargate also contains a major um, implementation, which is called IBC, Inter-Blockchain Communication. So in today's video, we'll be talking a little bit about that and also why you as an Atom holder should get prepared for that specific date. Action required. So if you're excited about that, make sure you hit up the subscribe button, you like this video, you comment it, you share it with one or two friends, and also make sure that you watch the entire thing. And before I get into the Cosmos IBC upgrade and uh, Stargate, let me remind you that I already made a video review on Cosmos a couple of weeks ago where I really gave a broad perspective with strong focus on how Cosmos plugs into Polkadot, right? Because I called it uh, Cosmos the forgotten brother of Polkadot. Now, in the meantime, I actually believe Cosmos is the actual daddy of Polkadot, right? The more research I conduct and the more I learn about how Cosmos works and how big the project actually is, the more it excites me. And if you're watching my content for the first time, be reminded that I'm very much for diversity. So I love funding different projects. I love speculating on the price. I think in the short term, cryptocurrencies are there to make us crazy rich, while in the longer term, we're actually funding the Web3, right? A decentralized peer-to-peer -peer internet. And Cosmos is a part of it. Polkadot is part of it. Uh, the Graph, Chainlink, right? Cardano, Ethereum, they're all part of that giant Web3 that we're currently building and funding. And yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, diversifying my investment portfolio, but also diversi di diversifying my research energy, right? Because I think there's so much tribalism in crypto. Everybody believes to um, have figured out the universal truth, right? There's Bitcoin maximalists, there's Ethereum maximalists now more and more and more. There will be Cardano maximalists, there will be Cosmos maximalists, right? That are, have very tribal views and believe that their protocol is going to be the winner takes it all. But in my view, Cosmos is one of those projects that actually from a product perspective does not even try to become that. Cosmos rather tries to become the backbone of the internet, right? Meaning that it is the, the underlying layer on which all the major blockchains come together and seamlessly integrate and interconnect right so think about basically like the the browser that you're accessing and then you have multiple websites that you can access from there right so cosmos is the browser in that sense and also quick reminder cosmos is built on an architecture which is very similar to polkadot but it functions a little bit differently and also um, instead of um, relay chain and parachain infrastructure cosmos uses cosmos hubs and cosmos zones right but eventually they will all be interconnected and share the security while enable customized and individual governance, um, token customization, token launches, right? All that stuff, all those cool features that you can basically build your individual blockchain, but it will all be under one umbrella with shared security and true interconnectivity. So the Stargate upgrade is going down in roughly 10 days and 14 hours, exactly on February 18th, 6 a.m. UTC, right? And what does it contain? The Stargate upgrade basically enables IBC, which is the blockchain communication tool. And besides enabling IBC, it also means uh, major upgrades to the Cosmos SDK on which a lot of projects are already being built today. And we'll look into this in a second. And also it will mean that you can faster sync your node you can con uh, conduct upgrades much faster and overall the performance and also the experience for developers will be so much better. And one of the main reasons why I am so bullish and hyped on Cosmos is because I can track and see their uh, tech development, right? Their code development, it's all open source. And guys, crypto is still very technical. It's a very technical industry and we're still at the very beginning, right? The value for any blockchain project, especially if you're not building a DApp, but rather a infrastructure backbone, right? Like Cosmos, Cardano, Polkadot, Ethereum, is in the code, the code activity, the development, the quality of it and the contributors, right? Because the code is eventually the product in the end of the day. And if you look up the Cosmos 
uh, GitHub repositories, you can actually see that there's a lot going on here, right? So you have six major reps here. And by the way, guys, I'm not a technical guy. I just spent some time to, to read that, to try to figure out what it means and just to put that into context and also into relation with other projects, right? So Cosmos is incredibly active and I also have a lot of people that are technical and that have told me that have read the code and they have told me that this is actually this is very solid right so they have a lot of development here and you can now see how all these pieces are plugging in together right for example if you look at Gaia which is their um, um, Cosmos main hub right you can see 16 people have worked on this in the past month right you can also go here on contributors and you can actually see um, since they uh, opened this repository and uh, how many people and who exactly is actually working on that and in what frequency, right? So you can actually see, I think he's a very um, uh, core developer of, uh, of Cosmos and has been working on all these repositories, also on Kava. I mean, you can literally see here their working schedule in the end of the day, right? It's absolutely crazy um, over the past 12 months. He's been very active in the crypto, in the Cosmos space. And then you can evaluate for yourself um, even if you're not technical, you can just within five or 10 minutes, you can see like, wow, there's some cool development going on here, right? Um, if you look at Tendermint, which is their consensus algorithm, you can also see that here um, over the past uh, month, uh, 13 authors have been active and they have um, contributed a lot to this code base here. Um, and also you can check here, when did they start? Well, they already started in 2014, right? So Cosmos, even though the Atom token might seem re relatively new to you, the Cosmos project is already in the works since more than seven years, right? I mean, this is absolutely amazing because before that they have had some brainstorming, they have had some documentation and research and how to how, how, uh, figure out how things work. But this is exactly why I'm so bullish on Cosmos, right? It's a project that has been in the works for so long and finally things are coming together. Also the Cosmos SDK, which is uh, comparable to the Polk Polkadot uh, substrate base layer, which is that basic toolkit for developers to um, build on top of, right? And you can also see very active 42 contributors and um, yeah, also started in 2016, so five years ago, right? So yeah, lots of cool stuff going on here. Now, I want to look into projects that are built on Cosmos, the Cosmos ecosystem, right? Because that's something a lot of people um, always question, like, yeah, who is building on, on, top of your, on top of your public layer, right? And the reality is that a lot of projects are building on top of Cosmos already, and you'll be surprised which ones um, are building on Cosmos, right? So I think overall there's more than 200 projects, 70 of which are already already on the mainnet, on their own mainnet. So this is solid stuff here, right? This is not some promise anticipation kind of thing. This is actually what is happening already today. These projects are built on the Cosmos SDK or are using the Tendermint consensus algorithm. Like they have some affiliation to Cosmos. So Akash, for example, is a very cool project that I think is gonna do also pretty well over the next couple of months. I'm also holding their, their coin. I just bought it in a few, few days ago. Um, Anchor, which is a microservice that we know band protocol, a decentralized Oracle, and then basically the entire Binance ecosystem, right? I think the Binance chain is built on the Tendermint consensus algorithm. And then the Binance smart chain, I think that they are going to be joining the Cosmos ecosystem once IBC goes fully live, right? Because uh, as far as I understand, Binance has this uh, dual uh, chain layer. And uh, I think through Cosmos IBC, they will also be much better interconnected and also connected and plug into the Cosmos ecosystem itself. So keep that on your radar. Entire Binance ecosystem basically built on Cosmos. You've got Bluezell, which is a, a storage project. And you get so many more, right? You got Certic, which is an auditing, uh, decentralized auditing um, project. Then uh, you have crypto.com, another decentralized exchange from a massive, massive project. Then also you got a very cool DeFi project here with eMoney, right? Uh, you got uh, Iris Hub, right? Which is also a very big project. And also here on the side, you can choose categories um, on whatever field you're interested in, right? Finance is obviously DeFi, privacy, social. So I was choosing privacy here right now. And also there are some projects that you might be very hyped about. Oasis is one of them, but also Secret Network, right? Previously called Enigma. They're also built on top of them. 
um, Sentinel as well. There's so much cool stuff going on. And I expect that when IBC launches, when Stargate gets implemented on February 18th, this is going to, this is going to explode even more, right? Also, another very cool thing here that a lot of you might like is that the Tor chain is also built on Cosmos and they are um, now partnering uh, more with Kava Labs, right? And um, yeah, Tor chain is a cross-chain decentralized liquidity network that is very successful, also multi-chain enabled through IBC. And it's going to be so cool, guys. Rune is also very well performing cryptocurrency right now. So it has a lot of hype. It has a lot of token holders and that's um, absolutely big. Now, another project that is built on Cosmos is Terra with the coin Luna, right? And Terra has also made big waves. It's actually the MakerDAO equivalent for the Cosmos ecosystem. You definitely should check it out. They have millions of users in Korea already and the coin price has been just going absolutely parabolic over the past um, couple of months, uh, weeks only, couple of weeks. So definitely another project to keep in mind. All right, and lastly, let's look into the Atom token itself, which is currently sitting at 3.2 billion dollar market capitalization and $13.25. Guys, when I made my last review, it was still below $10. It was, I think, $8 or even $7. Um, and all of the coins are in circulation right now, 238 million. You see an infinite symbol here with the um, total supply because um, there, is, there is a built-in inflation. I think it's 7%. So that means that you can also stake your Atom tokens, you can delegate them, and you can earn pretty high yields on it, right? Because of the inflation. So according to stakingrewards.com, the current reward is 9.27%. If you deduct the inflation, we're at net 2.25%, which doesn't sound that high, but I think we're still way too early to make anything out of that, right? I think it's very attractive still on uh, uh, Exodus or Kepler, you can delegate within one or two clicks and you earn around 10%. So um, yeah, you, you actually, if you believe in in Cosmos and the Atom token, and you think it will go up in value, then you can use that to just leverage and exponentially multiply your gains in USD value, right? Because if we think that IBC is gonna blow up, if uh, the target upgrade is gonna be successful, you might even receive an airdrop, which we're gonna look into in a second, then the reward here is just a multiplier and the leverage to your, um, to your conviction of, of Cosmos, right? Also 67.66% are currently staked. And this is actually super interesting because it has a 21 day unbonding period, right? So 67% of the supply of those 238 million coins that exist are actually more or less illiquid, right? So there's a three week unbonding in which the user does not earn reward. It just takes the time to suck it out, uh, to get it out of the, of the um, validator uh, contract and um, to get it liquid again. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I think chart wise, there's not much to say. This, this, this thing has woken up. Um, there was some resistance around 10, but it seems that this is all left behind now. Volumes increasing, liquidity on ex exchanges is incredible. We're on Coinbase, we're on Binance, Coinbase Pro at least, OKX, Hobby. So we got China on board, we got the US on board, we got everybody on board, even the Turks with uh, PTC Turk Pro. So guys, this is not going anywhere. And lastly, probably the most interesting and exciting for you guys is that Sunny Agarwal, who is a builder on Cosmos, he recently announced, this was February 5, two days ago, that if you hold Atom on exchanges, I recommend moving them into self-custody wallets before the Cosmos hub upgrade on February 18th. Something's brewing, right? So I guess they are preparing a major airdrop for uh, Atom token holders, Kepler Wallet then came out and said, if I were, if we were you, we wouldn't hesitate one second more to get Atom out of exchanges, which is something you should actually always do. You should always hold self-custody on your Bitcoin, on your Ethereum, on any cryptocurrency that you're holding, because if you give away your private keys to the exchange, you have immense counterparty risk that the exchange will be shut down by regulators. It will be exploited. It will be exit scammed. It will be hacked, right? You have a lot of risks and this always happens, guys. Exchanges always get hacked. There's, besides Kraken, there's no single exchange that has never been hacked. I think Kraken is the only one. Not sure about Coinbase. Maybe I have to look that up. 
Binance got hacked, OKX got hacked, Hobby got hacked, all of them got hacked. So keep that in mind, guys. Self custody is the key here. And if you um, receive an airdrop as a reward for holding self custody, I mean, how much better can it get, right? Well, I'm also pretty sure that they have, um, that they are designing the airdrop in a way that it won't hurt the price in the short term, right? Because this is the first question like, yeah, if you get free coins, then everybody will dump them and the price will crash, right? But yeah, you've seen it with Uni. There was some small uh, uh, selling pressure at the beginning and now it's at $20. Um, Cosmos is probably going to to do it a very smart way, maybe even with some lockups. I don't know. Um, I'll see and track that. That's why also make sure you follow me on Twitter because that's where I give a lot of updates and you know share a lot of cool content about about Cosmos and about also other projects that I'm really, really uh, excited about and uh, um, looking forward to see more. But yeah, Cosmos right now is one that I'm beyond bullish, beyond excited that. And yeah, if you enjoyed those quick updates um, of projects, again, I'm a big fan of Cosmos. I will talk about them more over the next months. Um, I'm uh, going to stack more Atom. I'll keep you posted on my Twitter as well. Then please leave a like. Please share this video with some friends because guys, again, I recognize this huge opportunity that we have right now in terms of making money in the short term, while in the long run, we're funding the Web3, which is censorship resistant and not controlled by a central body, right? By a central authority that can shut down or censor or influence what we're shown, right? And this is not only like Bitcoin can't fix that all, right? That, that's why you need those different layers. You need the Polkadots, you need the Ethereum's, you need Chainlink, you need the graph, right? You need Cosmos for the interoperability. You need all of that, guys. And this is so important to understand. This is not just, oh, let's disrupt currency with Bitcoin and then pump, pump our bags with Michael Saylor and cheer for the billionaires and the institutions to suck in all the supply. This is about building the Web3. So if you're on board with that, subscribe to my channel and we can do something very cool together. Join the Cryptocito Starship join the Cosmos Starship and together we're ready to go to the moon. All right, so stay healthy, be good, and I'll see you guys on the next time.